Hey y'all, it's Smitty here. Um, just doing a part two to um, the first video in regards to the call, um, the conference call for Backbreaker. Um, there was an article that was posted shortly after basically summing up with Backbreaker, what the uh, conference call was basically about, the highs and lows of it. Um, and from me reading it and from watching it, um, the few things that I feel would be a hindrance to a lot of buyers would be the fact, as well as just in general, is the fact that there are no injuries in the game, as well as there's no fatigue in the game, and also that there are no sliders in the game as well. So, like, that puts... That puts, number one, that puts a, a huge amount of pressure on the gameplay. So they're really, they're really resting the weight of the game's gameplay success like on their own shoulders here. So it, that really, really would have to come through. Um, which, that's a lot, especially for a first game to actually come out and, then, and to put that much pressure on. Um... Especially with not being able to modify the gameplay outside of picking the uh, already preset difficulties. Um, also, not having injuries, you know, like is a big is a big factor, you know, especially for the way that the physics play out in this game. That would have been something nice to truly have in the game. Even though they said that um, they had spoke on it, but they never really came out and actually did it. Uh, because they said that they rather focus on getting the gameplay um, together over putting out a uh, over putting out a uh, game engine. So I mean, excuse me, not game engine. I'm sorry. They rather get the gameplay together and instead of including the injuries. So hopefully the gameplay is solid enough that there is a second installment in which they would have. That those factors added into it, you know, as well as the fatigue factor. I mean, that kind of that defeats the purpose of substitution, and it 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 also would make be a, it also would hinder the game in the sense that I could basically run a uh, no huddle offense basically the whole game if I had the right play and I have the right gold star. Like let's say if I have a gold receiver. And a, like a gold rated receiver, and he's like six four, six five, and he's going up against a DB that's six three, six two, or whatever. I could just line them up, and then that's a all day, you know, like I could pass to him all day, and he's never going to get tired. So there will never be no energy loss. So that's the thing that pretty that that's the thing that really hurts this, um, and also the fact that. Um, even Rob had said himself that they were going for like when he when when he was asked if the game was this game more of a arcade or is it more of a sim and he said that like he he strongly was saying that he's pressing for this game to truly be a sim. So with that being said, it's like they're putting a lot. They're they're definitely putting all the eggs in one basket. You know, and hoping that not one breaks at all because they are seriously, seriously putting on a lot of weight, noticing, knowing that you can't make any adjustments for the difficulty. Um, they're putting a lot of the emphasis on the gameplay, like when it comes to when it comes to taking out. You know, they 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 chose gameplay over over putting fatigue variables and, and injury variables in the game. Um, let's see. They also were saying, like, well, it, it'll be a hindrance to some people, but they're talking about how they don't have the uh, commentary, you know, and just the focus on the stadium experiences, which is which is cool, you know, seeing that that's what they're trying to do in the first place is trying to just have the gameplay on the field football experience anyways. But it just, you know, like, but a lot of people are going to want some kind of commentary. But 
still nevertheless like I said this is a first this is a first year game and that's the their goal was to go for was to put the football on the field from the player on the field experience and also um excuse me and also that um Let's see that there are, I don't know if I had said it before, but there are no replay challenges, you know, which is, like I said, that once, once again, they're banking solely on the AI in terms of the, in terms of the penalties that are called and things of that nature. They're solely banking on that and the gameplay was taking out some of these very key features and key elements to uh, this football game. So, with all that being said, um, like I'll definitely post a link off to the side. It'll be in the description. I honestly, I do have, I, like I said, I do have great hopes for this game. But those are some factors that are, would really make or break, you know, somebody making a purchase on this game. I mean, no offense to the to the people over there at Euphoria or what have you, but I mean, excuse me, at Natural Motion, but um, this is something that is really like that's huge to not have all these things and like to have so much missing from this game, you know, like to have to have so many, I should say so many like key elements of football missing, but um, they were but. Like I said, he pre he pre he preached over and over about the gameplay and the gameplay and how good you know and how they're they're you know they wanted to sh truly showcase the Euphoria engine and that they're banking on the gameplay, but that's only going to take you so far. But as long as they truly come through, then Backbreaker will be a great game. So. Um, once they get the demo together, I will definitely be looking forward to that. And like I said, the release date of this game is on June 1st. So I, so we shall. So until the demo comes out and we actually get a hands on it, then we just will see from from uh, this point on and just see how things play out. All right, y'all. This is your boy Smitty signing out. Peace.